Hey guys, this is Stephanie Richardson. Someone asked me yesterday, what do you do when you're working on a project and every part of it that you have to do requires somebody else's input first? And I thought that was a kind of cool question. Um, it was exactly what I was working with yesterday. Yesterday I went to work on a bunch of projects and every bit of it that I went to go work on, I actually required input from other people first. Now my first thing is, uh, Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, uh, said this, he's like, don't wait, never wait. Well now, if you have stuff that you need from other people, and you can't do anything until the that stuff shows up how would you not be waiting aha so here's the thing what if you always had so many projects going on that the second that one of them appeared to be stalling in one way shape or form that you could actually use your energy on another project that's one so what action can you take today that would generate and create your life and your business and your future right away okay so you want to be aware of what action can you be taking that would actually create your life so anytime you find that something is stalled instead of going well i guess i'm just going to sit back and twiddle my thumbs you begin to look at, okay, so I don't see how I can move forward in this part of my life in this very, in this 10 seconds. Um, what can I do here that'll move this forward? Or what can I do to get around this? Those are some questions you can ask. Uh, the other part is, is that you can ask what else in your life actually requires attention and then put your energy there while this other project is sort of stewing. Because a lot of times what happens, or at least a lot of times what's happened on projects that I've been working on, is these, these different projects will go through these sort of stewing periods where it looks like, you know, if you're just following the timeline, you should be working on it. But what you'll find is every time you work on it, you get thwarted. If that's the case, you do want to keep asking, okay, what energy, space, and consciousness can I be to move this forward? What energy, space, and consciousness can I be to move around this with total ease? Okay, so those two different things. So you're basically asking what energy can you be or you know, add to the project that will actually um, create the energy that will allow the project to move forward. But you're also asking how can you get around any of these roadblocks that are in the way? Okay. So those are two different energies that you can use. You see they're a little bit different, right? One of them is asking like, hey, is there anything that we can do to actually move this forward and getting sort of the energy of any place where the energy of it is stuck? And then the other one is asking, all right, well, cool. It looks like there's a roadblock in the way, but is there another path? Is there another direction? Is there another so that you never get stuck in that one place? Now, the other thing is sometimes what happens is you get stuck on something because some big change is about to happen and you're welcome to do as much work on it as you want to, but in five days from now, whatever work you do on it is gonna be null and void. And sometimes the universe just has your back and is looking out for you and is like, yeah, don't, you don't need to put any energy on this right now, it's about to change and you're gonna have to put your energy in a different place anyway. Um, what's the difference between those two? That's that's practicing awareness, practicing asking questions, um, and actually using the energies of, okay, what can I be to move this forward and what can I do to get around this? Um, so then the other piece is there may be other areas of your life that really require attention. And in those moments you can go, wow, okay, this isn't moving forward, but I have these other projects that have either been neglected or I have me that's been neglected. Um, I've had my nose, you know, face first in a computer for eight weeks and um, what would really contribute to all the projects that I'm working on is a little bit of inspiration. So be aware when that's the case too because sometimes what happens is you actually nurturing you, you adding to um, the colors, the shapes, the sounds, the, um, the, the heart, the energy of um, 
have, allowing stuff to contribute to you will act, allow you to actually move forward in everything that you're doing with more speed, more ease, more fun. It's one of the things that happens with me is I find if over time, if I, um, if I work, 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 there comes a moment when I'm sort of an uninspired kind of feet shuffling and even the work that I'm doing becomes very slow. Whereas whenever I have a lot of energy and I'm inspired and I'm having a good time and I have a reason to have a good time, then I work faster. <laughs> I have more fun doing it. I contribute more to the teams and the projects um, that I'm working on and overall add more energy to a project. So just be aware. When is, when is it the case that you actually need to ask how to move the project forward, how to get around roadblocks, or whether something else needs attention in your life. That if you added your energy to that today, if you spent an hour or a couple of hours um, working on that, or working on you, or receiving whatever nurturing you require, would actually add to uh, the ease that you're having with other projects. So this has been Stephanie Richardson. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, also to visit my Facebook page, uh, Stephanie Richardson CF. So uh, see you soon.